Hi, this is Dimitri Bilgir, and I'd like to talk to you today about the four stages of facilitation mastery. Understanding what stage or what phase you're in as you're learning to facilitate can really help your mastery because there's sort of traps inside the different phases. And I want to get them to you today so you can say, oh, that's where I am. These thoughts I'm having are normal and here's how I can handle them. So let's get into it. I want to start by using the four archetype model that Robert Moore, I believe Robert Moore came up with and it was really fleshed out in the shadow work method by Cliff Berry. Now in this, there's four archetypes that we talk about. There's the sovereign, the magician, the lover, and the warrior. I'm not going to get really into what each of these are right now, but I want to talk to you about how you move through these different phases as you learn to facilitate carpet work. When you first decide, I want to learn about carpet work, the first stage you're in is the lover stage. The lover stage is all about feeling. It's about the direct connection through feeling. And what happens in this stage with, with carpet work is you're just overwhelmed by feeling. You may cry along with a crying participant who's receiving support. You may rage along with a raging participant who's setting a boundary with some internal voice. You're feeling it along with them. And while you want to facilitate, you really can't imagine how that would actually happen. So if you are willing to stay in this stage, it will shift. The mistake people make here is they get upset that they're feeling and they're not thinking yet. It's a stage. Stay with it and it will start to shift. And where it will go is to the magician. So the magician is about thinking in this context. It's about making options, thinking up options. So what you see will start to happen is you'll, you'll feel along with them less. You'll still feel along with them, but you won't be overwhelmed by the flood of their feelings so much. And you'll start to think about, if you were the facilitator, what you might do in this situation. You might even start seeing options that the facilitator isn't taking as you're watching them facilitate. You may even start thinking of things that they didn't see or You'll just start to really get this sense of here's how I'd do it. Maybe, maybe even here's how they'd do it wrong or here, how they're doing it wrong. But the thing here that will make you crazy is you won't yet be able to step out. Now, I run into students all the time at this level where they can imagine what they could do, but they don't have the energy yet to step out and actually do it on the carpet and lead, and it makes them crazy. So what you need to know is this is a normal phase where you can think it, but you can't quite do it yet. There's nothing wrong with you. That's part of it. If you were willing to stay in this long enough, just watch processes and think about what might happen, you will go here to the warrior. You will start to be able to do. You will start to step out naturally. These ideas, you'll find your mouth opening. You'll find yourself saying, yeah, I want to lead. I'd like to try one. And uh, from here, you'll start to do. Will you get all the way through? Maybe not. You may need help. But the warrior energy that will help you step out will show up when you have enough of the magician, which will show up when the lover aspect of it has found its way through you. So you'll step out and be able to do. And as you step out and are able to do more, you'll get to the point where you can actually go all the way through a process. The ability to sustain and go through will happen for you. And you'll start developing mastery. You'll start developing being the, the king or the queen of all you survey on the carpet. So. The big takeaway from this is you can look at this and say, well, where am I on this? And you, can say, and you can know you're not crazy if you're in one of these places. You're on the road. Don't disrupt it by being upset about it. Be on that road, and it will take you there. Uh, as always, let me know what you think about this in the comments. This is uh, Dimitri Bilgir and my uh, Carpet Work Facilitators Club. Glad to have you here. Signing off.